Hello, I am Erdan from Eurovision. In this video, we will relate twin Norton theorems into each other. Here, I have drawn a twin equivalent circuit and Norton equivalent circuit. Remember, we were we were uh, replacing a linear circuit with its twin equivalent and Norton equivalent. And actually, there is a relation between this Norton equivalent circuit and sorry, this twin equivalent circuit and this Norton equivalent circuit. If you have not, if you have noticed so far, if you apply apply source transformation to this twin equivalent circuit and turn it into a current source, what you get is Norton equivalent. So, if you apply source transformation, source transformation. So, uh, Thvenin equivalent circuit, Thvenin equivalent circuit, what you get is Norton equivalent circuit. So, that's very uh, a handy, that's a very handy statement indeed, because this statement gives you another method to find to find equivalent resistance between these two terminals. How? Let's apply source transformation to this twin equivalent circuit. Remember, we were finding current by dividing, dividing voltage to the resistance, right? Then, uh, then let me divide V twin in to R twin in. You get I Norton, right? And if you if you interchange these two terms, if you interchange these two terms, and if you divide V twin into I Norton, you get R twin. And notice in Norton's theorem, I have told you R twin and R Norton is equal to each other. So if you find open circuit voltage between uh, a and B terminals to short circuit current between A and B terminals you can find equivalent resistance between A and B terminals and that's a very handy tool. Instead of killing sources and if there are dependent sources uh, connecting a voltage test voltage source between A and B terminals you can you can first define voltage difference between A and B terminals and then you can find short circuit current between A and B terminals Lastly, you can divide them into each other to find equivalent resistance between these two terminals, and then you can you can uh, construct the twin equivalent circuit or Norton Norton equivalent circuit, however you want. Let's see if the if these uh, uh, formulas are true. Remember, remember this uh, circuit. We have found twin equivalent and Norton equivalent of that circuit, right? Here, uh, twin and voltage is 12 volts twin and voltage is 12 volts and twin and uh, resistance is minus 4 ohms if you divide 12 to minus 4 you get minus 3 amps and that's, that's, that shows our formula is true here, uh, of course, resistances are the same as I told you. Let me show you another example. Uh, remember this circuit, this one. We found twin equivalent and Norton equivalent of that. And we have found uh, Norton current as 2 amps and Norton resistance as 6 ohms. If you multiply them, what you get is uh, a twin in voltage, which, which is 12 volts. And twin in resistance is the same with the uh, Norton resistance. And a last Last example, remember this uh, circuit, we have also simplified it into twin and Norton equivalents. We found R twin as 3.5 ohms, we also found R Norton as 3.5 ohms. We have found Norton current as 18 over 7 amps and we have found twin voltage as 9 volts. If you divide 
if you divide this 9 volts into this 18 over 7 amps, you find 3.5 ohms, which are uh, equivalent resistance between A and B terminals. So, we have also seen that these are formulas are really true, and that's very handy. Now, I will write down uh, another method to find RTH. Actually, I have told you, but I, I want to write them down to find to find equivalent resistance. Firstly, uh, find VAB, which is uh, VA minus VB, remember, open circuit voltage between A and B terminals. Then, find uh, IAB, which is the current, which is, which is the current that flows through, that flows from A, from A to B, right? And uh, you will find that also. Uh, lastly, you will divide VAB to IAB to find R Twinen or R R North one doesn't matter. All right, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching.